what's up everyone? Today I came over to visit Thomas Sabo Adventures and Vlogs with Thomas. Um, we are going out, we are gonna make you guys some awesome videos. Be sure to check out his channel. And um, first stop is an abandoned house on the side of the road. I think we brought you here before. We were hoping to get back in and do some more gadgets because we have brought other things with us this time. But um, the front door is locked, so let's check the back. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, guys, check this place out. Just sitting abandoned along the side of the road. I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna go that way. Oh, maybe there is somebody in there. It looks like there might have been somebody. We've seen a shadow in, in the door. Check this place out. This is an old house. I don't know anything about it. Today I'm here with Thomas, Sabo, and Henriette. And um, we came to this house one other time and I'll have to ask Thomas a story about it. Six hundred, six hundred the address. Now these places were empty too, but Thomas said that he noticed that somebody's been working on these places. So we will walk over there, but for now, I want to walk you guys up in here. If the um the porch don't fall in, remember this. As soon as we pulled in, a cat come running up to us. All right, I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know, I don't see the beam. The beam should be right here. It's real soft now. Okay, we're trying to step on these beams, guys. Hello, anybody home? What do you guys see? Hello? Oh, it's locked. Oh, we ain't going in, it's locked. It's locked, Thomas. This is in bad shape, yeah. It's probably a good thing it is locked because I think the floors are so dangerous in there. They were soft before. Now I gotta try to get out of here. Oh, wow. Last time the door was open. You know, somebody could be in there because she thought she saw a shadow and then when I was walking up, I thought I saw it. All the windows out. What do you see? Just a bunch. A big mess. Hello? Yeah, this is where they had the console TV and everything. Remember there was an old console TV in here? Yeah. It looks like stuff's been moved around. What's that kind of plant? That's a uh, um, mother of millions. Mother of millions. <laughs> so how's that work, Thomas? Tell us about your gadget. Thomas Sabo, guys. Adventures and vlogs with Thomas. Um, it's a, called a gimbal. You put your phone in. You gotta um, download the app first. And then you turn it on and um, set your phone up. And it'll, it automatically balances. The... So, so you, you won't be shaky. If you're shaky, right. it won't be shaky. Right. Oh, wow. Now, could I put a, a regular camera on there? Um, they have a different one for a regular camera. Oh, okay. So do you have to push any of them buttons or yeah, anything? Yeah, you can zoom in. Oh, you zoom in from that. Zoom out. Oh, wow. And if you want to, let's see, this turns different. Oh, isn't that neat? 
different ways. But if you leave it straight, you can just walk with it and it balances. Right. Well, I can't wait to see this video, Thomas. Um, and then, let's see, let me stop recording. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, well, hit me cord and do your intro. <laughs> All right, everyone, so that window there, we just looked in. Um, I mean, it's falling apart. This place is falling apart. You would think, does it look like it's been moved here or do you think that they just salvaged it here? What do you know? You've lived here, so has it been here? I think it was here. It was always here. But I can't find, you know, the people that used to live here. Oh. I know it did, it was a rental house for a while. It was a rental house? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I can't imagine, because last time we were here, the floors were soft. Yeah. Now they must be softer. Oh, look at this. Oh, the back door is wide open. Thomas, that door is wide open. Unless somebody ran out. Look, that console TV, I don't even see it in there now. Huh. The walls look different too. Watch that nail. What nail? Right there. Oh, okay. The walls look different? Yeah, it looks like somebody um, tore them down. Oh, I just seen a shadow in there. Yeah, the console TV's gone. You want me to try to get up in there? Uh, I don't want you to get hurt. See the nail? smells weird in here. Do you smell that? Uh, yeah. Here's that TV. It looks destroyed now. The whole back's busted out. The TV in there? It is, but the whole back's yeah, busted it's out. In here, but the yeah. Oh, that's the spare box went on! Oh, you can walk through a walk through with it. Go ahead. Okay. That don't step on it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Guys, this is holy. Well, somebody took the all that side of the TV. Oh, look at the floor. Oh, why is that door closed? Here. Hello? Wow, guys, what do you think of this place? It is just sitting on the side of the road. It's probably full of asbestos, and we're in here. But um, most of the windows are broke out, so it, it's not, it doesn't have a smell in here. I guess asbestos don't smell, does it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't go very far in that room. Check it out. I don't know. Do, what else? What story do you know on it, Thomas? Anything? Uh, the only thing I know is it was built in the fifties. In nineteen fifties? Yeah. Oh wow. And it used to be a rental house. It used to be and a it, rental I house. I believe somebody died here, but I don't know. Oh wow. That's crazy. I got a pain in the side of my head. I didn't like that room. This opens. Yeah. What is it? A mirror, but there's nothing in it. Yeah, it's a medicine cabinet. That's one of those things you stick the razor blades in, isn't it? That hole right there? And they go down on the wall? I have no clue. Never heard of such thing. Old razor blades, yeah. Right here, they, they used to stick the razor blades in there and they'd go behind the wall. So if you dig out this wall, there's probably razor blades That in is there. so crazy, like... <gasps> what was that? That was me. Um... That's crazy that they would they stuff their razor blades behind the wall. There's probably a bunch of them back there. Well, we can look on this side of the wall. Is there a bunch oh. of razor blades over here? Oh, you can't tell. It, the wall is solid, guys. That wall looks like a body went through. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Oh, they took the pipes out. Ah, uh, somebody's been in here taking pipes out. 
And this four is coming through. Wow. I have the bear with me, guys, and I have um, the REM pod that Thomas got me. Actually, he gave me another one because I left the last one at a location. I had to have because I cannot find it. I don't know. You're going up. You don't get on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm worried about the floor being numb. Yeah. Oh, then that's the front door. Wow. I'm going to do... Um, I'm gonna do some spirit box. I felt something like in this room, Thomas. Yeah. You did too? too. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up and do some spirit box, guys. All right, guys. Turn this on, and we are gonna do spirit box. It is hot in this house. Here we go. Hello. My name is Marie. I come in peace. Did somebody die in this room? Can you tell me if somebody died here? <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Can you tell me your name or the name of the person that died here? My battery's fixing to die. Henriette's gonna go get me another one. Let's walk around the house. Back seat. Inside the charger. All right, guys. I kind of felt something in this room, but I'm not getting a whole lot on the spirit box. All right, everyone. So we took the 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 spirit box session over onto Thomas's channel, um, Adventures and Vlogs with Thomas, but then his camera went off too. So we um, we just stopped the spirit box. I have um, the REM pod and the bear. I'm gonna set up somewhere where it's kind of dark so that we can see if it'll light up. Ooh. Don't fall through, Thomas. Yeah. But my mouth is really dry. It's so hot in here. Yeah. Damn. Is that front door closed now? Yeah. When I went to open it, it wasn't locked. Okay, well, it felt like it was locked for me. Maybe somebody was in here and they went out when we came around back. Could be. Or spirit held it shut. All right, guys, I'm going to set up my bear. I hear footsteps. Well, maybe they're. Um, Maybe spirit will light up the bear. Don't even tell me. I left it on. Oh, there's some of that um, plants growing in. Well, I guess the bear is not coming on because I must have left him on. 
Dang it. All right, guys. I have the REM pod. We'll set it up. Do you want to I'm going to set up the REM pod first. Sometimes I feel like if I set up too many gadgets, they don't yeah. communicate with us. All right, guys. So this is the REM pod. The REM pod that Thomas got me. So we're just going to set it there. We could walk away from it. I'm worried about this floor being soft. The REM pod is right there, guys. Guys, my mouth is so dry. I bet you this is asbestos. Can you see it on the ceiling? I bet it's asbestos and it's making my mouth completely dry. I probably need a mask in here. It doesn't smell like I can't smell nothing. But, um, it definitely, my mouth is definitely dry. Can, if there's any spirit in here, can you light up that REM pod? Try and light it up. Walk past it or touch that antenna. Is somebody walking out there? Did you hear it? Oh, I thought it was behind me. Is somebody out here, guys? That door was locked when I came in, so when I tried to come in the front, and it was unlocked when um, Henriette walked up to it. So I'm thinking that whoever might have been in here could have um, slipped out the front door when we came to the back door. But you know, why wouldn't they have shut the back door too? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Yeah, it didn't want to open from the front. Not at all. Oh, it's blurry. Come on. Is there spirit in front of us? Show yourself. Did you see how blurry it was? It was really blurry. Okay. Now, you can get semi-close to this, so spirit would have to be really close to it for it to go off. Let's see, that's, I don't know, hold on. That's about probably three inches from it. So spirit would have to be three inches from it for it to go off. What is it? I heard him too. That looks like somebody was thrown up in the wall. Oh my goodness, this place is creepy. Thank you for trying to touch it. I wanted to use the bear, guys. I'll have to see if I have batteries in the car. Alright, I'm going to grab this. Alright, let's go out and take a look at that other building. I'm having like, oh, funny feeling in my chest. Um, and my mouth is super dry. It's, not, it's bad. Are you guys doing more? All right, guys, now we've got to try to get out of here without stepping on that nail. Do you need me to hold something? You filming? No? <laughs> you all right? This is cool, Thomas. Yeah. I like that thing. I like it a lot. Yeah, at first it was real. I got I got one, and these motors were not really easy. Oh no! And oh, so it has to have a motor on it. Yeah, each one of these has a motor. So, have you posted a video yet with it? Um, the last video that over at the <laughs> over I mean to point. Um, over at the hotel or motel. The place we're gonna go to today. Oh, okay. I'll have to pay more attention. I watched that video because I thought, oh, that looks good. And I like to go there. But um, 
I'll have to pay more attention now to the because the shakiness. Yeah. Because I I'm the same way, and I, and I'm too I move too fast sometimes, and um. I told, like I told you, I want to post it or something to stick on here telling me to slow down right. so I can remember. I'm going to get some B-roll. Do you want to? No, I'm fine. No, go ahead. You want to walk down here, Thomas? <laughs> Nobody's living down here yet, right? No. I did see him working on it the other day when I drove Oh, down. okay. Uh, well, remember last, was it last year or the year before that I was here, they were working on it. Yeah. See, what was this? Like a, a parking space or? Yeah, it might have been. I think that used to be a church. Oh, okay. But it's really small. Um, so that would make sense because there's parking here. Yeah. Oh, that pile. There was a big There pile. was a big pile. I remember that. Me, you, and Angie were here, I think. Yeah. And Henry, yeah. Oh, Henry, it was here too? Okay. That door was wide open at the time. Yeah. So I wonder if, see that's a different address on the mailbox. I want, yeah. So I wonder if the people that own this actually own the house too. Huh. Mm -hmm. You could probably property appraise it since you, you know, you, you live here. Yeah. And Thomas can get the address and property appraise it. This right here, I wonder if that is coming out of the ground. This right here is, um, to me it looks like a duplex, but what was that? Um, Thomas says it once was a church. I swear I thought there was a door at that end, but I guess not. Let's look inside here. Oh yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna make it an apartment or something. There's a little kitchen over there. Can you guys see it? That's what they're doing. They're gonna make it an apartment. It looks like this is gonna be the kitchen. And I guess the bedroom's gonna be back here. Maybe it's a one bedroom, maybe it might be two. No, nope, they made it into two bedrooms. Two very small bedrooms, guys, two very small. Can you guys see? I don't even know what you guys are seeing. Let's go around the back. Oh, they put a brand new air conditioner here. Yep, it's gonna be two bedrooms. Here we go. Now you can see in. That's one bedroom. See how small it is? Oh, they put a brand new air conditioner unit here. Here's the second bedroom. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger. This must be the master. It's still small though. Brand new air conditioner, Thomas. Wow. Yeah. So, they're definitely working on this place. This must be the front door. Oh, look, you can see in the bedroom better. I don't even know if a queen bed would fit in there with a dresser. It's nice, though. So, the kitchen looks like it's going to be really big. Unless this is a kitchen. No, the kitchen's over there. See it? It is going to be a really nice, this might be like a, that's probably storage. Yeah, it's nice. Th those look like the cabinets that I got. Looks nice. The kitchen's the biggest room in the house. Oh, and then this. <gasps> Ooh, God, it's like there was a hole there. Hope that ain't no sinkhole. That don't look like no living room. That's another bedroom. It's three bedrooms, Thomas. So that, that right there is a, is a kitchen and living room combined. That's why it's the biggest room in the house. So that's what it'll be, living room kitchen. Wow, that ain't bad for make a three bedroom out of it. Yeah. Watch right there is sinky. Like you might go down in it. Could be a sinkhole. Wouldn't it be crazy if we went to a location and it was sinkholes? Yeah. Oh my lord. So yeah, this bedroom's odd shape. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Three bedrooms. I didn't see the bathroom, but it's probably in the hallway. 
Uh, well, I don't know. That's going right in the door. I don't know. Looks like it's open. No. I guess the bathroom's probably down the hallway, maybe. I don't know. Well, you wouldn't have any neighbors to mess with you if you lived there. No. Definitely wouldn't. They'll probably get twelve, fifteen hundred dollars for a three bedroom. What is that about the rent here? Um, it depends. There are some newer ones that are twenty five hundred. Oh my lord! That's crazy. Rent is so expensive. I don't know how people can afford to live. Yeah. All right, everyone. We are going to take you to a brand new location. It's brand new for me. Thomas found it on Christmas Day, guys. So shout out to Thomas. Adventures. Adventures and Vlogs with Thomas. I keep getting confused because he changed the name of his channel. Anyways, shout out to Thomas. Um, he's taken me and Henriette to this location that he found on Christmas Day. He already put a video out, so go check that out on his channel. And we are going to make you a video today. And... If it looks good enough, we might come back again after dark tonight. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.